Hi, in this video tutorial, let us solve one more problem of projection of planes. Uh, the problem is like this. An equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm sides lies on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 45 degree with HP and one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Draw its projection. Okay, here the type of lamina is uh, an equilateral triangle of dimension 25 mm. Okay, then we have to see the condition. The triangle lamina is resting on HP. Okay, resting on HP means we are going to draw the top view first. And uh, one more condition is the lamina is resting with one of its sides. Okay, that side should be on XY line. Okay, let's start. First, draw an XY line. Uh, select line, continuous line. Thickness is 0 0.13 mm. Okay, draw one line. Then go to text option. Uh, font is Times New Roman and... Uh, Thickness, let it be 3.50 mm. You can name that uh, X, Y line. X. This is Y. And we're going to solve this projection of plane problems in first quadrant. Uh, above X, Y line, we'll be having VP. Below X, Y line, we'll be having uh, HP. Now, let us construct an equilateral triangular lamina. For that, go to applications, macros, run macros. In that select uh, inside polygon okay yeah. select flat length okay. the layer the dimension of an equilateral triangle lamina is 25 mm number of side is three uh, minimize this okay click anywhere on the sheet now select this triangle lamina and change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm okay. if you want to move this triangle lamina by using this move option move wherever you want Okay. Now name this uh, triangular lamina. You go to text option, times new roman, thickness let it be 3.50 mm. I'm going to name this point as A. Okay, this point as B. And this point as uh, C. Okay, I'm going to draw one median also. So that go to line option. Continuous line, thickness let it be 0 0.13 mm from this corner to midpoint of this. Okay, I'm going to name this median as D. Okay, now draw the projection line in order to get the front view. Okay, go to line option, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm from corner C to XY line, from corner B to XY line. Okay, front view appears like a line. Go to line command, continuous line, thickness 0 0.3 mm to the end point of first projection line to the end projection end point of second projection line. Okay, now name this. Go to text option. Okay, if you view this triangular lamina from front side, A is visible, B is invisible. Therefore, the naming is A dash in bracket B dash. Okay, C is visible, therefore this is T dash. Okay, this is stage one. We want to show the dimension, show by using smart dimension option. Okay, next is second stage. Uh, the second stage, the question is, the lamina makes 45 degree with HP. Okay, go to select option, select the front view. Okay, now go to move option. Okay, move that line while doing switch on the copy option. Move that line anywhere on the text file line at suitable distance. Okay, now rotate that line. Go to rotate. Okay, select the fixed point and movable point. Okay, HP inclination angle is 45 degree, 45. Enter. Okay, now draw the projection line to get uh, the top view. Go to line command, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm. Okay, first A to A. Now 
then b to b next c to c Now join three points by using thick line. Change the thickness to 0 0.50 mm. We draw the median. Okay, now name. Go to text option. Okay, this is A. This point is B. This point is C. Now second stage is over. Show the angle. Okay. Now third stage. Uh, the data given is one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Since the median is inclined to VP, this is beta angle problem. First we have to determine the beta angle. First draw one line of infinite length which makes an angle of uh, 40 degree to VP. Minus 40. Okay. Now measure the true length of median and apparent length of median. Go to distance between option. Select uh, corner C and this end point. The true length is 21.65. Similarly, measure the apparent length of median. The apparent length will get uh, in uh, the stage 2 diagram from corner C to this end the upper end length is uh, 15.31 okay now go to R by center point method choose any one reference point on that uh, VP inclination line from that line okay radius is uh, the true length that is uh, 21.65 cut an arc Yeah, at that point, draw an uh, locus line. Go to line option. Locus line thickness let it be zero point one three mm. At that point, draw an locus line. Okay. Now cut one more arc from the same reference point. Okay. By taking radius as fifteen point three one, that is apparent length of the median. Go to R by center point method. Choose the same center point. Now the radius value is 15.31. Cut an arc on the locus line. Now join that intersection point and the reference point by using a line. Okay, this is an intersection point to the reference point. Then extend this line till an xy line. Okay, now measure the angle. Okay, the angle is a 65 degree. The 65 degree is a beta angle. Okay, now we have to place this stage 2 diagram on that uh, beta angle line. Then zoom this area. Go to select option. Okay, select this uh, triangle. Now go to move option. Select corner C, switch on this copy command. Okay, move this corner C on the intersection point. Zoom that area. And now rotate. Go to rotate option. Choose the fixed point as corner C. And this is the mobile. Okay, place it on the beta angle line. Okay, now draw the projection lines to get uh, the front view. Go to line option, continuous line, thickness 0 0.13 mm from uh, A to A, B to B, then C to C. Now join these three points by using thick line. 
change the thickness to 0 0.53, 0 0.5. Okay, from A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash. Okay, this is the front view, now name. Okay, this is A dash. This is A dash. Okay, this is C dash. Okay, this is all the front views. Okay, below X, Y line, we'll be having top view. Okay, this is stage one. Stage two. This is stage three. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.